Easter Thursday, welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Thursday, 4th, April 2024. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Saint John Bosco, whom God raised to be the friend of our souls, set us free from all vials of the enemy, that we may offer our hearts to the Lord, whole and undefiled. Trusting in your immense love of God, we turn to your powerful intercession, that we may obtain the graces we beg for. We pray for our families and loved ones, protect them from all dangers and any form of sickness of mind and body, keep them safe from spiritual decay and moral confusion, conflicts and misunderstandings, separation and depression, sadness, apathy and despair. May they always remain hopeful in their faith, united in love and joyful in sacrifice for one another. We lift up to your loving care our children and young ones. Teach them to live as enthusiastic Christians and dependable servants in society. Lead them to follow the ways of the gospel and treasure their intimacy with Jesus in the blessed sacrament. Dear St. John Bosco, may we burn with your ardent love for souls as we generously work for the salvation of our neighbors Bring us closer to the Blessed Virgin Mother, that under her protective mantle, we may grow daily in holiness and ultimately share the joys of heaven with you and with our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Let us pause for a moment of silence as we prepare ourselves for a full, active, and conscious participation in this Eucharistic celebration.
abundant life. You are the source of our great joy, the fountain of all life. You give us living water, you be the scum and drink. We come to you, we bless you, Lord, we glorify your name. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach to eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the beautiful gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord that very day the first day of the week two of jesus disciples were going to a village seven miles from jerusalem called emmaus and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred and it happened that while they were conversing and debating jesus himself drew near and walked with them but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them named Clopas said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor in Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty indeed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find the body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, 
He gave the impression that he was going on further, but they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them, and it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were open and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the, day, on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Obviously, Easter is the grandest, the most beautiful of our uh, celebrations of faith, of our festivities. But in the beginning, Easter had quite a rough sailing, you know, the celebration of Easter. At first, if you will read the Gospels, even the apostles found it hard to believe that Jesus rose from the dead. Magdalene and the women brought the news. You go to St. Mark and it says they found it hard to believe. Even in St. Luke, they were astonished and they would not believe. Ikaw ba naman sabihin, nabuhay yung patay, maniniwala ka ba? Something like that. So it wasn't easy. They have to see for themselves. And Jesus had to appear many times. Until, until the faith of the apostles and the community was shored up. They believed that Christ is risen. They have enough proofs. Then move on. The church grew. The community grew. Now we have a problem. There were people, especially in Asia Minor, which is now the area of Greece and Turkey which was in a flourishing area of Christianity. They were celebrating the resurrection of Jesus two days after Friday, after Passover. Okay? Two days. No, not Friday exactly. Because in the, in the scriptures, the Passover is to be celebrated on the 14th day of Nisan, the first month of the Jewish calendar, Nisan. And on the 14th day, you celebrate the Passover. And so the Passover does not fall on a Friday or on a Monday. Bahala na kung saan babagsak during the year. So it was movable. And it was on the Passover that Jesus celebrated the Last Supper. Two days after, He will rise from the dead. Okay? Yang ganyan. So in other words, the celebration of Easter was Nisan 16. Passover was Nisan 14, so Nisan 16. So Easter was not necessarily Sunday. Pwede siyang bumagsak any day of the week. And that's how they celebrated it. We call it in the East. Okay, Asia Minor. In the places that were directly under the influence of Rome, they insisted on celebrating Easter the Sunday after the death of Christ. So what's a Sunday? Union. And there was a big uh, contest about the two things. By the year 325, they decided Easter should be celebrated on the Sunday after Good Friday. Okay, so set na siya, Sunday na siya. The, uh, but they continued, the others continued, they got used to so celebrating it that way, so it was not easy. And it was only around the 8th century year 900, that finally it was already kind of universal along in the church that it was to be a Sunday, okay? So between March 12 until April 25, parang doon siya babagsak, iikot siya palagi dyan. So we have Easter Sunday now, okay? Our Greek brothers, they have a different celebration of Easter because they follow the old calendar, the Julian calendar, 
and we follow the revised calendar, the Gregorian calendar. Kaya ang Easter nila will be two weeks after pa. Yung mga ganyan. Anyway, so it wasn't easy really. It wasn't smooth sailing for the belief on Easter as well as the celebration of Easter. This is something beautiful to see that our faith has a history, development. Hindi lang automatic na ganun yan, di ba? I, uh, the two readings that we have today are complementary. First, the gospel is telling us about Jesus explaining to those two guys on the way to Emmaus that the Messiah should suffer and rise back to life according to the scriptures. And he explained from Moses and the prophets, he explained to them. This is very important because in the Jewish understanding, you know, I will believe your message if it is in conformity with the teachings of Moses and the prophets. And that's why Jesus proved it to them. Okay? So, totoo. Totoo. Yang ganyan. Remember, the two disciples did not recognize Jesus yet when he was teaching them. But the teaching about the resurrection conforms to the scriptures. So, tamayan. Yan ang ibig sabihin nun. The first reading is about St. Peter, Peter uh, healing the sick person there in front of everyone, you know. And this is the conclusion of his preaching about the resurrection of Jesus. And so the point here, he proved that his teaching about the resurrection of Jesus is true, genuine, because it is accompanied by healing, a miracle. In the Jewish mentality, you, you, you believe some, a message as coming from God if it is according to the teachings of Moses and, and prophets and it is accompanied by wondrous signs. In our readings today, these two conditions are satisfied. In other words, the faith of the church on the, holy, on the resurrection of Jesus shows that it is something really prophetic. That it is a teaching that comes from God. Maybe we can say it this way. We believe in the resurrection, not because it is a huge miracle, but because it is the action of God. Naniniwala tayo sa muling pagkabuhay, hindi dahil bahagi lang ng buhay ni Kristo, kundi kagagawan ito ng Diyos. And that, and that is where our faith stands, on the resurrected Jesus. Our faith, therefore, stands on our belief, on the power of God, and God himself raising Jesus from the dead. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church, of the community. It has a lot of developments in history that, that affected it, the celebration, etc., but the heart of our faith is this. Naniniwala kami kay Kristo dahil siya ay Diyos at lahat ng pinagagawa niya ay kagagawan ng Diyos. Amen na yun. Wala ka na magagawa doon. Diyos na yung pinag-usapan doon eh. Yung ganon, di ba? So maybe the idea is let us celebrate, let us live our faith with dignity. Yung, yung, yung pagmamalaki natin yung ating pananampalataya. The, the differences I've already explained yesterday's homily. Maybe the idea now is to live the faith of our community, the community we belong, the believers of Jesus. Totoo, kagagawa ng Panginoon ito. Yang ganyan, di ba? So let us wear our faith with dignity, ika nga. Let us live our faith with a dignified heart. Yung bang let us not allow our hearts to wallow in rancor. Sa Tagalog, sa manang loob. Kung tinapakan mo yung pa ako, automatic magagalit ako, di ba? Pero papalampasin ko na. Kung inutangan mo ko, hindi mo binayaran, mm, sige na, papalampasin ko na. I won't keep this sa manang loob. And many times, ang talaga sumisira sa iyo, hindi yung galit. Kasi yung galit, automatic yan eh. Pero yung iniiwan mo dyan, yung sama ng loob, 
Yun ang sumisira ng kalooban mo. At doon nagsisimula ang lahat pagkatapos. Mumurahin mo, gaganti ka, wala, wala. Ayun na yun. Yung sama ng loo. No, I will wear my faith with dignity. I will keep up the lisay na kalooban. Hindi yung puno ng sama ng loo. Okay po? Ay malaking desisyon yan. Lalo na tayo mga Pilipino, maramdamin tayo. Hoy, tinatago natin lahat yan yan, di ba? Yan, magkamataya na, nandiyan pa yan. Yan ganyan. Then, let us wear our faith with a clear mind. Kung talagang naniniwala ka kay Kristo, pwede ba? Pakitabi na yan mga horoscope at manguhula na yan. Ilan po sa atin dito nagsisimba tapos magpapahula? Magbabasa ng Bible tapos magbabasa ng horoscope. Okay naman yung manguhula, di ba? Sasabihin niya ganito, Ah, bago matapos ang taon, makakapag-asawa ka. Ooh. Ang ending lahat ng hula, ganire. Pero sa totoo lang, depende naman sa iyo eh. <laughs> o depende pala sa akin, bakit pa ako nagpahula? <laughs> In the end, merong caveat yan eh. Depende naman sa iyo eh. Mamalasin ka, pero depende naman sa iyo eh. E depende naman pala sa akin eh. Bakit pa ako magbabayad ng manghuhula? Eh, ayun na nga eh. Kasi malamo yung pan- pananiwala mo. Hindi man linaw. Kaya kailangan mo na kung ano-ano substitute. Clear mind. A, 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 a dignified faith is live with a clear mind. Pwede ba? Pakitabi, pakitabi na yung mga yan. Okay? And finally, Let us live or wear our faith with a dignified behavior. Yung mag-andad talang tayo ng krus ng maayos, in public ha, yung pag nasa labas ka, mag-aantanda ka ng krus na maayos. Alam mo kung lahat ng katoliko mag-aantanda ng krus na maayos, magbabago tayong lahat at magbabago ang mundo. Napakalit na bagay ha. Example lang, hindi po ito politika. Di ba si Lenny kulay pink? Saan ang galing yun? Sa resume mo, hindi naman niya inimbento ng pink. Meron lang mga grupo ng, ng magbibisikleta na nagsuot ng kulay pink para sa kanya. Binigyan siya ng t-shirt, sinuot niya. O lahat na, naka-pink. Small thing. Ano kaya? Pag kumain ako sa restaurant, eh, nagkantanda ako ng krus ng maayos. Ano kaya? Subukan kaya natin. Let us wear our faith with the dignity of the risen Christ. It is God at stake. Uy, tayo na kayo. Recalling here how the disciples on the road to Emmaus recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread, we pray to God our Father for a deeper appreciation of the risen Christ as our spiritual food for the journey through life. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may effectively proclaim the message of hope by their holy lives. Let us pray to the Lord that government leaders may bring hope and light to our people by their dedication to public service. Let us pray to the Lord that we may understand why Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Let us pray to the Lord that the sick may be healed and be strengthened by the reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. That the dead may enjoy the fullness of life in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, grant us the deep faith necessary to recognize your Son in all situations we experience in life. We ask this. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer. Blessed. Fruit of the field, fruit of the vine, and break of human hands, they will become our spiritual nourishment. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed called, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the challenge. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her blessed spouse, Joseph, with the blessed apostles, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
on glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with and your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of his body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Sa Dombosco, masaya. Sama, sama. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, Merciful Father you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection, and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity, we have sinned against our brothers and sisters, we have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Novena prayer, please all kneel. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that He who shares in the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, 
heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our fa Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help, Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctify Loving and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. 
loving mother pray for us that we may bring the knowledge and love of christ to those who do not know him loving mother pray for us that we may be aware of our dependence on god in the midst of human achievements loving mother pray for us that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our heavenly father loving mother pray for us that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen lord loving mother pray for us that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection loving mother pray for us let us pray in silence for our own intentions holy mary pray for us pray for all the people of god may all experience god's perpetual help lord you gave us mary to be our mother ever ready to help us grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs amen consecration immaculate virgin mary mother of god and mother, mother of the church you are also our mother ever ready to help us with hearts full of love for you we consecrate ourselves to your immaculate heart so that we may be your devoted children, obtain for us true sorrow for sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you, that we always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see Him and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of perpetual help, we pledge to model our lives in you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father, that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us, May we learn to, us to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through your intercession and especially through the Novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love to the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Are you among women, 
and the saddest the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our of the Father, Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video nếu thấy hay hãy nhấn like đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé